you know, you have tried every way and all different avenues that you know. You've tried everything and nothing, nothing works. And you fail. Whatever you tried, it doesn't work. And then it comes to the very, very end. And there's a moment that you totally surrender. You totally let go. And it's a very beautiful moment because normally transformation happens in that moment. But that's not something you can do with your mind. Because even in your mind, you say, okay, I'm going to let 100% go. But it's a trick because the mind can't do it. It's the heart that does it. I don't know if this makes sense or not, but it's a, but it's a, a process that automatically leads itself in that way, and it comes to that, that you have exhausted all possibilities, and there's nowhere to go, there's nothing else you can do, and all of a sudden, you're in this place of, oh, and you surrender. And what happens in that space is being created. And then everything becomes possible. But if we're trying to understand that with our thinking mind, we, it's, the mind simply can't understand it. What else do we have? Uh, uh, Shishi, do we have anything else? Jillian. Okay. All right. So this is from another friend. I'm just, uh, I've developed panic attacks in a vehicle roughly two and a half years ago in a vehicle. So I was on a diet and switched birth controls around the same time. I had an attack in my vehicle where my legs were numb and my sight was going dark. Never was I ever... S uh, can you read this to me, Shishi, please? Miss Shishi, are you here? So I'm reading uh, this new... Um, no, I have a fear of driving. Okay. Uh, Shishi? Yes. Are you there? Yes. Can you read this, this uh, without bringing up the name of the person, can you just read? Um, yes. So we can uh, hear. I developed panic attacks in the vehicle roughly two and a half years ago. I was on a diet and switched birth control around the same time. I had an attack in my vehicle where my legs went numb and my sight was going dark. Never was I ever scared to drive before. I could drive far and loved it. It was therapeutic for me. I drive for work. Now I have a fear of driving far. I've come far and I'm able to get back into the vehicle again, but I can still not go too far without worrying and have some sort of panic. What do you recommend I do? I wish I could be peaceful in mind again and love to drive. Someone told me to do a past life regression or a healing of some sort. I've done some meditation and hypnosis. I am a new follower and watch many of your videos. Sorry, I can't talk loud. Okay. All right. Well, okay, I was on a diet and switched birth control. Okay, so I'm wondering, uh, the number one thing I'm curious about is that uh, how your digestion is. And if you're having problem uh, with your digestion, it's a possibility that what happens with, um, let's see, she wrote back. Um, okay, so it's very much possible that what happened is birth control pills, when women are birth control pills for a long time, 
uh, what happens is it damages the lining of the small intestine and it can create a, uh, a syndrome called leaky gut. So what happens is when we start developing some sort of leaky gut because of the birth control pills, then undigested molecule of food, such as gluten, sugar, or dairy, starts to leak into the bloodstream. And it triggers the neurotransmitters inside the body. Now, uh, it all depends on the person. Everybody reacts to it differently. So it's possible that around the same time that you have changed your birth control pill, and I don't know what kind of diet you've been in, and you may have been doing it for a long time, or maybe you've been taking antibiotics too, or I don't exactly know, it's difficult for me to say uh, because I don't have all the facts, but I'm just giving you a general idea. Uh, it's possible. Kind of right. It's it's a possibility that what happened, and this is an easy way to figure it out. It's a possibility that what happened was the lining of your intestinal tract got thin through that diet, and what happens is through the tight junctions of the cells inside the small intestine, they're really tight like this. Now, sometimes when they open up a little bit, this is uh, in a, it's not something they can see in, in a uh, colonoscopy. It's not visible to the eye, but this is something, there's an epidemic and this is pretty much all over the world and it's happening a lot to people. So the tight junctions of the cells in the small intestine, there's an opening in it and they lose their tightness. Now, all kinds of undigested molecules of food that they're not meant to get into your um, bloodstream, they leak in. And as they leak into your bloodstream, they're affecting your neurotransmitters and your immune system. And one of the uh, effects of that is panic attacks. So you start having all these panic attacks uh, that, that rises, you know, and it could be associated to driving or um, swimming in the ocean or whatever it is. So I would just definitely, if I were you, uh, first thing I would do is I would get a leaky gut test and most ordinary doctors, they don't believe in it and they may make fun of you. So it's best as if you find a functional medicine doctor